Welcome to Freshly for Animated. Obviously, the shoulder joint has a range of movements and it is not firmly attached to the torso. If we look at these illustrations here, you can see the silhouette drastically changes and the shoulder joint, which is attached to the clavicle, goes up when the arm is lifted. If we look at this illustration here, I'll just mark this is the sternum and this here is the clavicle. The shoulder joint is here attached to the clavicle. So when the arm is lifted, the clavicle goes up like this. We have the shoulder joint moving position. We have that much movement here in the shoulder and obviously the silhouette drastically changes. Smart magnet rigs are not a rigid skeletal system, so nothing really forces you to keep uh, elements snapped at all times. We can pose and we can move an element to find a logical and good looking position. This is just common sense, but say you might really want to snap the elements at all times or your design might uh, require articulation of the shoulder joint. So in this video I'd like to explore some options how this can be achieved in a proper rigged form. Now let's look at this example here where we have um, these extra elements, uh, something that can be called either uh, a shoulder blade or a clavicle. I'll uh, load this structure in the smart magnet rig panel so that we can see it. So this is the torso and these are the uh, upper arm, lower arm and hand and then we have this extra element. These extra elements we can control them with uh, FK extenders and they have been welded to the torso so that they always move in hard rotation with the torso, which um, allows us to use IK to pose the arms and we can adjust the angle of the shoulders with the FK extenders. We can also control these, these chains. Let me just uh, switch the coloring on so that we can see the FK and IK chains. So we can control these IK chains with the controllers at the elbows. I've given them some uh, joint constraints so that we can't over stretch them beyond a certain point that I consider to be reasonable. And this allows us for very easy posing and control of the silhouette. If I want to have the arm point downward again, I will need to flip the direction of the controller by just using my uh, shortcut key for flip horizontally. And now here we go. So very effectively we can do shoulder shrugs by either using these controllers here. or the FK extenders. And the figure behaves just, just normally if we uh, move the torso with uh, the Kineflex tool and with the wrist controllers, we can just keep posing the arms normally while polishing the silhouette using these extra elements here. And another example, I'll uh, load the rig here again, I'll have to just uh, move these bits. The same thing, we have these extra elements here. In this case, these are literally eccentric guided elements. So there's, there's nothing here. It's just this uh, symbol with an eccentrically positioned magnet target, which allows us 
I'll snap it in position and I'll show you what it does. So with Kineflex, I can move the shoulder in a circle. Do you just come up with poses that uh, look a little bit more natural? When the arm goes down, I would probably like the shoulder to go down a little bit. And these are welded to the torso. So when I move the torso, they always stay in, in hard rotation. All this can give subtlety to your rigs and poses. Like if we look at different poses here, with this eccentric element, I can choose the right position for my shoulder so that I can get a nice and expressive silhouette. If, if we look at this pose here, you can see it just gives a little extra shrug and a little bit of three dimensionality to our, our pose. This is basically it. You can insert an extra element and with this extra element, you can control the behavior of the shoulder joint while keeping everything snapped into position. Freshly Flanimated.